Hey guys, Tim here with TimKipTutorials.com and welcome to another Android development tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be working with image views and showing you how to add your own image to your application. So as you can see on my screen I have just a uh, standard linear layout under linearlayout.xml. What we're going to do is we're going to add an image view to our layout. So we're going to type image view and then we're going to give it a, hit, a height and width. Remember that all of your views have to have height and width. And we're just going to say wrap content for now for both the height and the width. And then we're going to set our Android source equal to something for now. Then we're going to close off our image view with a forward slash greater than sign. So you'll notice we have these folders over here in our uh, resource folder. So inside of our main res folder, we have drawable, drawable HDPI, MDPI, and XHDPI. These three folders right here are used for different um, resolution screens. But I'm just going to be putting an image in our drawable folder. If you do not have a drawable folder, just right click on your res folder, go to new Android resource directory and change your directory name, just say drawable, and change your resource type to drawable as well, and then hit OK. Now over here in my desktop, I just have a simple YouTube logo PNG file, or I'm sorry, JPEG file. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Inside the drawable folder, I'm just going to paste, right click on it and say paste. It's going to ask if I want to copy that uh, image to our drawable directory, which I do. I'm just going to leave it the same, YouTube underscore logo. Hit OK you can see it shows up in our drawable folder. So now back in our image view source, we're going to type at drawable forward slash and then our image file name without the extension. So YouTube logo. And as you see our preview window over here, I have my image and it's uh, displayed on the screen. So what happens if we change our width to say a fixed number like 150 dp? our image shrinks. What happens if we want to scale our image so that it fills the whole image view? So we can go scale type equals center crop. And you'll notice that it centers your image but it crops out everything around outside of the image view. So let's go ahead and we're just going to give it a little bit smaller of a height. We'll just say 100 dp. As you know it's it's cropped but it is uniformly um, scaled. Let's go ahead and copy this image view. I'm just going to paste another one in. So now we have two. And we're going to change up the scale type. So as you see here on a cohens, I'm just hitting control space bar. You see we have center crop, center, fit XY, fit center, center inside, fit N, fit start, and matrix. Center crop is what you saw in the first one where it just crops your image and centers it into your image view. Center, you can see it just centers your image in the interview or in the image view. It doesn't do any scaling or any cropping or anything like that. Fit XY, what it does is it scales your image to the X and Ys so it matches the dimensions of your image view. I'm just going to give this one a little bit of margin at the bottom so we can see the difference. Okay, now they're a little bit more separated. So fit XY scales both your X and Y dimensions to fit your image view. We've already seen center crop. Fit center. It'll fit everything into your image view and then center it. We also have fit start, which fits every, your image in and puts it aligned at the start of your image view. And we also have fit end, which will align it at the end edge of your other edge of your ah can't talk today other edge of your image view. Center inside does exactly what it sounds like it's doing. It's centering it inside of your image view. Same with fit center. does the same exact thing. So those are just basic way to um, add an image to your application, set your dimensions height, and then scale accordingly. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Let's go back. I'm going to change this to fill parent. And 
and fill parent. Just so our imagery does the whole screen. And we're just going to send this to fit center. And now we have an uh, image that is scaled proportionally to the center of our screen. So I hope you enjoyed this sim simple tutorial on adding an image view and a um, custom image file to your application. Hope to see you next time.